Ah! Stop it! Uh, I keep getting updates about... From this one guy. So, like, I read an article on uh, the internet. Because, like, they're having an NES cl SNES Classic come out with, like, 25. Like, yeah, I saw that. And I was like, fuck, I want it! And, like, no one knows when it's going to be available for pre-order in America. And so, uh, I read this article and they're like, yeah, this one dude, like, his push note, his notifications are, like, you gotta, like, sync him up because he'll let you know when, uh, it's on sale. And I'm like, shit! And so, like, I was like, yeah, notify me. But he, like, notifies me, like, it's, it's, I've just gotten, like, seven notifications from him. Like, it's a lot. Oh, my God. Yeah, so the phone, you're going over there. It's too many, man. Right there, that's perfect. Okay, welcome back to Pillow Talk. I'm just about ready to pack it in after a few bites of ice cream from the free... We just got back from our Damien day. Cracking up a cold one with the boys. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, ice cream. Yeah. I wonder if Amanda's still awake. That kid needs some sleep, because she's crazy. As I pass the room, I hear, can hear a faint sound, but can't quite make out what it is. I get a little closer. Is she crying? I knock gently on the door. Hey, Amanda. The crying immediately stops. Not right now. <laughs> Her voice sounds strained. <laughs> yeah, she sniffles. I need to make sure she's Every okay. time she's crying, she's Lee Everett now. I open the door. Aww. In the dark, I could see Amanda's outline in the middle of her bed. I see her pretty fine. She changed her clothes or something? Does she ever change her clothes? She sleeps in them and like wears them all the time. Yeah, everyone wears the same clothes. What the fuck? It's, they never stink. Knees hugged up against her body. Is everything okay? I don't want to talk about it. Did something happen? Did something happen? No. Nothing happened. Go away. Alright, I'll leave you be. But, but watch, she's gonna come out and be like, I love you. She immediately starts crying again. Uh -huh. Wow. I have no idea what has her so upset. She's finally realizing that I'm gay. <laughs> what if that happened? I feel awful just leaving her to cry, but I also get the feeling that I tried to do... If I tried to do anything else, it would only have made her more upset. I can't stop mentally cycling through all sorts of awful things she could be dealing with right now more than, any, more than anything. I just want her to be happy and safe. I have a hard time falling asleep, but when I finally do, I'm still thinking about Amanda. After a long night of very little sleep, I roll out of bed and make myself a pot of coffee. Amanda should be up for school, so maybe she'll be willing to talk about whatever's bothering her. Oh god, if she's like depressed and like suicide is a thing in this game, I'm going to be very sad. What if she's pregnant? Oh shit. About ten minutes before she's supposed to leave, Amanda comes out of her room and makes a beeline for the freezer. Morning, Amanda. Morning. She drops a frozen waffle into the toaster and slams the freezer door as she won't look at me. Yikes. Look how tiny her stove is. Jesus. So, anything big going on at school today? No. Okay. Do you need a ride to school, eh? Probably not. No. Want some coffee? Probably no. Amanda pulls the toaster lever up and takes her still freezer burned waffle out before you. I have to go. Amanda picks up her bag and storms out. Oh, okay. <laughs> I haven't seen her act like this in a long time. It's usually short lived, but it always hurts. <laughs> Hopefully, this blows over and things are back to normal soon. God, I sit back at the kitchen table and look at a picture of Amanda, and I'm like, I am sad as fuck. She's riding a bike, her face is a mixture of excitement and stuff. Every time she would fall off and scrape her knees, she would get up and try it again. Finally, I had to stop her because she was bleeding everywhere. Then she tried... Do you think when people that speak a different language, when they speak their language, they obviously speak like, say it's a, a, a Korean person. Yeah. They're speaking Korean. They think in Korean, too? So I'm assuming. We thinking, yeah, I'm sure. Isn't that crazy? It is Isn't weird. that crazy to think? But then if you, like, know multiple languages, you're like... When do you think of? Maybe you're thinking a mixture of them? Yeah, like, wetzel pretzel. Yeah. As I put the bike away, she just stood in the middle... Am I having a flash? <gasps> Flashback. She just stood in the middle of the street and screamed. And I, then I took her for ice cream, and it was like nothing even happened. 
After giving it a bit of thought, I decided that if I force her to talk about it, I'm only going to make things worse, but I have an idea. I start rummaging around for ingredients. I hear Amanda walk in the door. Instead of heading for the kitchen like she usually does, she makes a beeline to her room. She's clearly clearly trying to avoid me. Oh, hey, pumpkin. What? Can you come here for a sec? There's a moment of silence. Yep. I wanted to say sorry about last night. I'm just worried about you, kiddo. I get scared when I know something's wrong, and I get even more scared when I feel like I can't do anything about it. Yay. Dad, I... Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Bombshell right here. So just, whatever it is, and you don't have to tell me if you don't want to, but whatever it is, just know that you have a dad in your corner who wants you to be happy. Honey, you know I'm bad with words, so I was hoping I could speak a language we both understand. Como estas? <laughs> <laughs> I pull a cake out of the refrigerator and place it on the table. Hopefully the frosting is set by now. Kitty! Dad. It took me a really long time because I ran out of red frosting somewhere around sad and had to start over. And Sorry you're sad, but I support you 100%. Aww. It. This is beautiful. It's strawberry. Big ol' hug. I grab some plates and forks and serve us up some delicious cake. So, it's really stupid, but I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> what is? This whole thing. I know I've been really weird lately, and there's just... I don't even know how to explain it. I feel like I might have to make you a chart. Express, Excel spreadsheet, whatever you need. I'm listening. Do you want me to take notes? I guess I should start from the top. So you know how Emma R. is going to that fancy art school in California, right? Oh, God. Drama. Drama. Uh, Emma R. Like the pirate? You know what? Fuck it. You're not gonna... That was her that Putin did, Beth. The... Fuck, I didn't think this was relevant. Oh, shit. I didn't it... think it was relevant to remember this. Damn uh, it. No, no, no. Amanda puked in Dead Goth and Beyond, but I think it's her best friend. You got ah! it. Proud of you. Anyways, ever since she got the acceptance letter, I've been feeling like she's drifting away, you know? And she's been spending a lot more time with Grace and Emma P. I just thought it was all in my head for a while. But then I found out from Rosie M. that both the Emmas, Grace and Noah, all went to a party at Mackenzie F's. On the same night, they all told me they were busy studying for the Calc AB final. Holy shit. It's, that's obviously Calc AB. Calc AB. The cow cabs. Yikes. So, another important piece of information is, uh, God, this is embarrassing. I, um, have a crush on Noah. Oh, you gotta say, like, have a crush on Noah. Have a crush on Noah. <laughs> but, uh, that's a thing. What? Whoa, I had no idea. I definitely didn't know that. Okay. Y You're a bad liar. Which was Noah. No, remember she was texting him. And then I was like, you like oh, him. And then yeah. she's like, no, pff, no, pff, no, I don't. Really? Pff. So are you. I learned from the worst. Shut up. Anyway, so the only person I told about the crush was Emma R. And she promised not to tell anybody. I didn't confront them about the party thing because I didn't want to start drama. So I just kept quiet and keep going about my biz business. The <laughs> business. <gasps> Manda Huh. And then one day I invite everybody out to get nachos at the mall. Nachos, not sick. text me back for like two hours, even though none of them ever put their phones down for more than 60 seconds, they all say they're busy, like, simultaneously. So I tell them, never mind, I'll just eat nachos at home, right? But we were out of chips and I really, really wanted nachos. Same, man, I want nachos now. Totally understandable. So I go to the mall anyway, I get to the food court, and who do I see there but Grace, Emma P, Emma R, and Noah all hanging out together and eating nachos without me. Maybe Noah is... Amanda, I think you gotta real. I'm talking to you as Amanda. Maybe Amanda... Oh, sorry. Oh, maybe Amanda is... Uh, well, hold on. You're Amanda. That's right. Um, yeah, maybe Dad. Noah is gay. Everybody is. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's what she just said. She like just like stops. She's like, everybody is. Holy shit. Everybody's gay. You what? 
It gets better. I'm standing by the escalators watching him, and I realize that Noah has his arm around MR, which is kind of weird, right? But then they kiss. He's not gay. <laughs> Played me like a fiddle. No! Yes, I know. So I storm over there, and I'm like, hey. And they're like, hey. And Grace drops Nacho on her shirt, because of course she does, and MR just like glare at me. Grace. Grace. Nothing is coming up. I don't know who that is. She's my sister. Grace is the... Grace is the... Did she poop the bed, too? Oh, shit. Um, I think she's the boring one. But who pooped the bed with her? I think there was another Emma. Yeah. I feel like an actual dad right now. Trying to gossipy. Well, no, no, I think it was... I'm boring. thinking gossipy, but, like, go... Are you go sure? with boring. Well, yeah, but that's not the important part. Grace oh. is the one nobody really likes, but or I guess that's me now. But anyway, nobody will say anything, and I'm just like, you guys suck, which I realize is not the most eloquent thing to say, but I was very angry and really embarrassed, and I just wanted to get out of there. So I left without nachos, might I add, which only further contributed to this shitty day, and immediately drafted a super long text to the group chat ask, asking them why they've been so weird. And I wrote another one to MR asking how long the Noah thing's been going on. And sorry, you know what? That's a lot. You still following? I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> just like, just Dude. imagine just sitting there like, fuck. What? What did MR say? Okay, get a load of this. MR says, you know what? Let me just read it to you. Let me let me get on that. Let me get on that. Let me just read it to you. We gotta keep going with this episode. I know. Amanda pulls out. Go ahead. Sorry. And reads word for word in arduous, ar, ar, did you, arduously long string of text. God, I feel dumb reading some of these words. Mm -hmm. You know what? Fuck that. I don't feel dumb. Can you believe that? I cannot believe that. I care so much about Amanda's social life and mental well-being, but man, do I not understand what she's talking about. This is all beyond me, but I am trying my hardest to be supportive. They were dating in secret for, like, months. What? So I told her that she's being a really terrible friend. She's like, well, if you think I'm so terrible, then just stop being my friend. And I was like, okay. And she left me on read. And then... Wait. Left me on read? What's that? Oh, like, uh, she saw my message and didn't reply. And I know because there are red receipts. I don't know what red receipts are, but I'm just going to nod and pretend I understand. Cool. Sick. Gotcha. So this is all happening. I'm getting exhausted. Holy shit. I'm this talking she's, to she, about... she's letting out all this anger and frustration, oh, I'm man. I'm talking to MP about how mad I am because she's at least being kind of reasonable. And I'm venting to her about how pissed I am at everybody and stuff. And then out of nowhere, Noah texts me and is like, how could you say that about me? And I'm like... Say what about you? And he tells me that Emma P sent screenshots of everything I told her in the group chat, and I got kicked out of. All right, I think you lost me at screenshots, but that definitely sounds bad. There's so much more, but honestly, it's all just really stupid teenager stuff. Bottom line is that everybody dropped me. Half my grade hates me, and now I have no friends. You have me. At least you can raise your grade easier <laughs> without friends. Amanda, I am so sorry. I almost suspected it from everybody else, but Emma R has been there since Mom died. I can't believe she would just stab me in the back like that. You know what? Stab her back. I'm not even that <laughs> mad she's dating no one. I'm just upset she lied to me about it for so long. Amanda stabs at the remnants of her cake. Dude, she ate that entire thing. Fuck yeah. Okay, I take it back. I'm kind of mad she's dating Noah. <laughs> like, what did I do wrong? Why does everybody just suddenly decide I'm not cool anymore? Why wasn't I enough? I don't understand. This is actually really relatable. And as mad as I am at everybody, like, I miss them, Dad. Amanda looks so dejected, I almost can't take it. What could I possibly say to help? Anyways, that's it. That's the whole sordid tale. Thanks for listening. Tune in next week for more hot gossip. Haha, <laughs> deflecting personal feelings with jokes. <laughs> oh, wow. I know it's pretty dumb. It's not, I wasn't, I didn't. You start scrolling up to it and I was like, no, 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 it's because like, have you ever tried doing a mouse on a pillow that's slanted No, before? I haven't. Yeah, it's like really fucking hard. It's a hard. stupid thing to be upset over, Pat. Yeah. <laughs>
But I was... Amanda, your feelings are real. Don't ever be mad at yourself for having feelings. I guess. Unless you've secretly been a robot who's been approximating human feelings this whole time. Dad, if I was a robot, I would have transformed to a monster truck a long, long time ago. But seriously, I know you probably don't want advice, but I feel like it's my duty as a dad to bestow upon you a few nuggets of fatherly wisdom. Real friends don't do that. That's what I would say. Oh my god. When you get older, you start realizing that sort of the sort of people you want to associate yourself with. Do you really want to surround yourself with people who would do something like that to their friend? It takes a lot of work to find and maintain meaningful relationships. It took me a long time to figure that out myself, and I wish I had learned it sooner. If the other bleh, person isn't putting the effort in to show you how much they care, it's not worth it. You're not beholden to being their friend. Ultimately, I think this says way more about their character than it does about yours. Because you're amazing. And if they can't see that, well, that's their problem. I kind of wish this game came out while we were in high school, because this would probably help us. Oh, it? dude, this would have been so good. Dot, dot, dot. I'll keep that in mind. Look down at the table. Did we just eat that whole cake? Yes, we did just eat that whole cake. Well, good talk. I say that too. Amanda gets up to her room before she closes her door. She turns around. Hey, Popsicle. Yes? Thank you. You are always welcome. Love you, Amanda. Ah! I don't even need to read that. Oh, that nice. shit. Oh, next time on Pillow Talk. God, that was good. Fucking heart this game with 